Thank you, everybody. I'm Joel Lingardio, City Supervisor for the Great Sunset District. So here at the Board of Supervisors, I have introduced a resolution to declare May as National Hepatitis Awareness Month in San Francisco. And this resolution is dedicated to my late boyfriend, Mark Lim. He died in 2001 of liver cancer caused by hepatitis B. It was a big surprise when Mark ended up with advanced liver cancer at age 30. He was fit, always at the gym, never drank alcohol. Mark's first symptom was a sudden onset of extreme pain that sent him to the ER. An ultrasound discovered his liver was full of tumors. Prior to that day, he had no symptoms. That's why hepatitis B is called a silent killer. Soon after Mark got sick, he saw a public health advertisement about hepatitis B. It said one in 10 Asian Americans are infected with hepatitis B and don't know it and that they could get liver cancer. Finally, Mark's illness made sense. The ad was sponsored by the Asian Liver Center of Stanford University. Mark was a young doctor just out of residency. He worked for a major hospital in the area, but he had never heard of the Asian Liver Center. None of the doctors he worked with had heard of it either. So Mark made an appointment. And then he found out that the Asian Liver Center was just a basement storage room at Stanford, a tiny office. This was 2001, and it showed how little the medical establishment paid attention to hepatitis B in Asian Americans back then. The director, Dr. Sam So, had bad news. It was too late for Mark, and Mark didn't get the information that could have saved his life. Chronic hepatitis B is often passed from mother to child at birth. No one thought to test Mark. And for 30 years, his chronic hepatitis B was a ticking time bomb. Had Mark known his status, he could have gotten treatment. It was devastating to hear Dr. So say it was too late for Mark. But as Mark accepted his fate, he wanted to help others by raising awareness. There was a successful vaccination for hepatitis B. This is a treatable and preventable disease. Before Mark died, he saved lives by telling his story. He was in the San Francisco Chronicle's first report about the threat of hepatitis B. Mark's advocacy was a precursor to the creation of SF Hep B Free and its life-saving work. So thank you to Dr. So and all the local heroes who stepped up the past 20 years to make the world pay attention to hepatitis B. Hepatitis B disproportionately affects Asian Americans. Only 6% of the US population is AAPI, but that 6% accounts for 58% of Americans living with hepatitis B. San Francisco has one of the largest AAPI populations in the nation, which makes hepatitis B awareness an essential local issue. We are making progress. Remember the public health ad that Mark saw back in 2001 before he died? It had announced that one in 10 Asian Americans have hepatitis B. Well, today the number is one in 12. That's progress and it gives us hope, but we're still in an epidemic of hepatitis B. We still have work to do. We need a lot more help to put an end to hepatitis B in San Francisco and around the world. And the help you see behind me, we should all be grateful for because these are the people who are working to save lives and make sure that no one else has to suffer the fate that Mark did. Thank you.